Like if you saw a man with three cats on his back on the highway, that's something you would probably stop for. Like that's a man that's in, in a Me. lot of need. What, what's the human thought there? But you can't make the world a better place because you can't put a dollar sign on that. She's a beast, man. She's, she, did, she doesn't fuck around. But I, I did it, I saw her naked and I needed to get there. The best side job I had though, I was the host at IHOP. I wanna be the first guy to find a dragon. Uh, want to become an Olympian, probably in gymnastics. I'd like to have a tiger. I've always wanted to be a meter maid. Or a maid. You're a hairy boy. Hey, I got you this big stocking. It's got Reese's peanut butter cups and nine fucking grapefruit in it. Love you! <laughs> so. An adrenaline-fueled rage inside a Target parking lot with, with a sack of your boss's underwear. I feel like a shit, and I drive down, and I'm like, Six Flags is gonna suck now. Maybe the dog would have a fucking better life dead, you know? Democrats, shop at Trader Joe's, and hope like can shop at Ross. I'm here to not let the adversity weigh me down. Everyone's really just talking about themselves anyway. Exactly. Exactly. Everyone's really just talking exactly. about themselves. I just, um, I think I have to start talking with people about what's going on in my life, and I don't know how to. Dude, talking to someone always helps. I mean, that's why psychology is like the third most lucrative profession in the world, or something like that. Dude, I can't afford therapy anyways. Yeah, dude, me neither. We should do that. Do what? You know, the whole, like, therapy thing. You know who fucking needs it? Logan. Logan. Yeah, dude. Poor Logan, man. Goddamn Lipitor. Ugh. Side effects may include hepatitis, gout, anal discharge. So, what did old Logie say? Uh, he's no go. What? Yeah, he said, and I quote, Bit gay, isn't it? Bit gay? How about he eats veggie burgers at Norm's, bit gay? <laughs> Jesus. I know, what a jackass. Stroll? Stroll? Let me just throw something on. You feel this ready? Nana for the road. So, man, you gonna come to this meet tonight or what? What's your deal? I told you, I'm busy. Petey, come no. on. Come on, dude, we want you to be there. Yeah, what's a talk without my best bud? Besides, not like we're kitty fiddling or something. Quit being such a cat's vagina about it. <laughs> Look, I'm busy, all right? I'm not gonna join your little circle jerk jack-off fest, all right? Oh man, now I'm just gonna have to imagine you at our circle jerk jack-off fest. It's gonna be fun, too. All right, Petey, we'll lay off you, but hey, what do you guys say? You wanna go get some kids in the playground or something? Yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> Let's go do that. I think that will make my day a whole lot better. Compost. I hate having sex with condoms. Uh, like, can we not, can we not come up with a better, you just can't feel anything, it's, it's like putting earplugs in and going to a concert basically, it's like watching Goodfellas on TBS. <laughs> it's just, I just heard what happened on the set of The Killers, starring Katherine Heigl and Ashton Kutcher, apparently, Sparks, apparently he and Tom Hanks were giving uh, blowjobs to each other. Ellen Page of Juno uh, fame. No sparks between her and Jason Bateman. However, sparks with her and Michael Caine on the new thriller movie Inception. Which, which on that note, Figures. why is it the Muslims are so against drawing pictures of Muhammad, yet every other Muslim is named Muhammad? Isn't that weird? They're, they're just cool with that. Just name whatever kid Muhammad. Yeah, any any douchebag, any idiot. You know, I've yet to meet a Muhammad. What is that name? Not in grade school. Don't go and and tattle on me. And that has happened to me a lot. I guess maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Shotgun. Hey, look. No blame.
bullets. Haha, <laughs> I called it. You want me? Can we call Triple A? Do you want me to call him? Speed up. Speak to a representative. Speak to a representative. Speak to a representative? Speak to a... Why don't they just do the touchdown, right? You know, like, one for a representative. Yeah, man, Derek and I have been doing this thing where we, like, you know, invent to each other and listen and use each other's sounding board type of thing. It's a bit gay, isn't it? <laughs> Just talking and listening. Oh, come on, man. You can tell us what's up. All right. So, I'm at the gun range, right? And I'm gonna go through this whole fucking story. I don't care. Yeah, that felt good. Bit gay, but yeah, that felt good. Right? <laughs> yeah. We gotta start doing this for real. You need, you know, need something like this. It's fucking loaded. Right. Thank you, that's exactly what we said. Dude, he's an asshole, but I love him, but he's an asshole. You know? We should get the other guys in on this, too. Maybe we could invite girls, too. No, let's not get ahead of ourselves. One-two punch, get everything done, you know. Two birds, one stone. Yeah. I bet you they find that vulnerability really attractive, though. Yeah, dude, you should tell them that story, they'll love you. <laughs> <laughs> one, a two, a one, two. children um, and my family was uh, the largest portion of a traveling circus. I have a registered physician, Dr. Jim Richards, that I see every morning because I have bloody stool and I'm not proud of it but I have no other options. I'm not hungry. Women have always been attracted to me. I have an, a, a, I, my penis is large. My, I have a very large wiener. When I was gone, I, I literally ran with a wild horse. And I'm suggesting that being a man is running 30 to 40 miles an hour alongside of a horse. This is something that I did. That's me. That's virility. Who had a bigger penis, me or the horse? Yeah. Uh, we had discussed it. I am a porn star on the side, and my family doesn't know. I want to be um, Jim Morrison. I want to be Jesus. I would like to be Allah. Allah. I specifically have a problem with hoarding things, um, mainly paper. I call it paper keeper because paper does have its own life. And I am not, I'm not like an owner of the paper. The paper is, has its own entity. Let's say, cats or girlfriend? What are you going to think? I, I mean, Obviously, I, I need and should say girlfriend, but it's almost come to the point that I just say cats because it's easy. One of my biggest fears is being judged. Animals don't judge you. We come from a family where half of the family is Jewish, half of the family is Catholic. That's a family ridden with guilt. I feel like a bitch. Like, come on now, me. But like I said, my girlfriend's like 5'2", 115 pounds. She kicks my ass. Like, oh, I feel like I'm going to turn out to be that guy, like the crazy uncle who shows up drunk to the family reunion and who's like barely getting by on, you know, next to nothing salary or fucking waiting table still, you know? I'm, yeah, it's, it's kind of terrifying. 
Uh, I almost, I, I, I had a heart attack two days ago. Well, I mean, it wasn't a real heart attack. It felt like it. Like for two seconds, I was like, oh my God, I'm, I'm fucking dying. I'm dying. I'm like, I'm 31. How am I dying right now? It turned out it was like gas or something like that. And I think I ate some, some sort of like cabbage the night before and just kind of got a little blockage. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. So um, last night, man, we didn't even really uh, we didn't talk about it. Uh, what'd you think? I'm fine. You know, fine. Everybody was really comfortable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, they were open, really, really quick and receptive. Receptive. I think receptive is the right word. Well, you felt you got a titch, titch weird at certain points, but I think, you know, I think maybe we just had to get used to that. I wasn't like, where's the splooge, you know? Like, I wasn't like, hmm, where did it land? Hey, the good news is everybody wants to do it again, so that's great. And everybody's got their demons. Two girls, one cup was my jam for the longest time. What? Oh. Oh. What do you mean your jam? I've worked with a lot of these big kids, like Miley Cyrus and Vanessa Hudgens, the Zac Efron kid. Miley's very sexual. Um, she's hairy. She's, she's really hairy. I mean, my head has been shoved down there. <laughs> it's not funny, bro. The brown nipples are, are the good no, ones. No, but nipples are absolutely yes. more important yeah. than the boob. Than the boob? Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. What if you had, what if you had flat that. and then like nice girl? nipples? That's not good. Oh, no. oh, of course. I'm talking about in re within reason here. You're yeah. saying the nipples are more important than the boob, right? Yeah. yeah of course. Yeah, yeah because if you, get a, if you get a nice boob and an awful nipple... Oh. oh, if you get the torpedo nipples? That's no, but if a girl can't get aroused, yeah. uh, like, hard nipples... I, I, I mean, I like... I, Wow, I got really sad. No, no, no. You said hard nipples. I feel like, especially when you're hooking up with a girl, if she gets like hard nipples, if you know she's aroused, you know, it's sex. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I also, I mean, tits in general, bras are engineered so beautifully these days, we get a lot of false advertisements. Oh, 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 so, oh God, so much false advertising. I was hooking up with a girl a little while ago, and I got her home, took her bra off, and I wish I hadn't. <laughs> I think it's CPR to a cat, I gotta ask you that. Have you ever thrown up Red Lobster? <laughs> no. No. It's kind of like if you throw up Red Lobster at the beach, that's what kissing a cat's like. No. It's going on take his a desk. Shit on, take take a way. shit on his take desk, take a shit in his car, make it five times. He goes, keys. there's a shit, there's another shit, there's a... <laughs> that, wow. <laughs> See now, now we're now we're a whole big thing. Actually, yeah, no, that's probably better because treasure maps we could find. Because here it is. Or what you could do, you could take um, and it just take an afternoon, but it, you could take three different shits, um, <laughs> uh, and and then put a, a toothpick with number in them and number them one, two, and four. Oh, ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think okay. He'll always be looking for numbers. <laughs> <three. laughs> Always be looking for numbers. Good. Oh, That'll be his yes. white whale, wow. basically. Yeah. 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 Moby yes. shit. One thing that I heard was that Guillermo and Peter Jackson, uh, there's a connection there. There's sparks. This is something that has never been revealed before my blog, sparks.blogspot.com. She said, you're not coming back. You're not coming back to my set after you fucked my friend, Dame Judy Dench. Wow. Playing opposite, yeah, wow. Played opposite Ian McKellen in the Royal Shakespeare Company's Macbeth. Terrence Howard just fucked her. You look angry. Well, this is my fucking face. You know, and I, of course I'm angry. I've been angry for 26 goddamn fucking years. Because who isn't angry? And who loves? Who loves? Do, do, do we ever, who comes in here and goes, hey, guess what, guys? What do you fucking do? Guess, I met someone. I got, I got, I made some money today. And as soon as I'm about to come, I let out the biggest <laughs> fart I've uh, ever let out. Uh, uh, I'm still inside this girl, my heart stops. <laughs> and I, the look on her face was like, she just found out a relative had passed. Like, <laughs> dropped. She basically farted in your mouth. <laughs>
Oh, no, there's no basically about it. <laughs> yeah. He was getting down and dirty. Did you get anything out It was my least favorite Indian dish I'd ever had. <laughs> all in vain, all in vain. You miss the summer rain. All in vain, all in vain. Your parents' voices. Gentlemen, through those doors lies our destiny. A harem of women looking to get their nasty line. Divide and conquer. Break. Wow. Wow. That's good this place, man. Fucking Philistines. Dude, I want to dance, and plus there's all kinds of beautiful ladies up Those there. Those bitches don't even know who F. Scott Fitzgerald is. <laughs> Beggars <laughs> can't right. be choosers, and it's exactly what you need. Yeah, well, there's a brick shit house named Maurice standing in there, whose main purpose in life is to make sure that we never see the inside of that house. Man, fuck Maurice. Agreed. All right? Come on, dude, let's get out of here. All right, all right. Fucking monocle. Don't hate me. I hate clubs anyways. You can't have a conversation to save your life. And this place is trashy. I bet you their valet sucks. Remember we thought we'd just come out here and we'd take it all by storm? Oh. I'm not giving that up. Oh, that's the ticket? Hey, D-Lo? What do you say? Yeah, man, fuck it. Budge? I didn't realize we were in a Michael Bay film. <laughs> Michael Bay? <laughs> Michael Bay, it's a sleep. <laughs> oh, fuck. Right. We're just like chugging tequila and like chugging whiskey, no mixers, nothing. We were out to get fucked up. The last thing I remember was we were shooting hoops at the Dave and Buster's and like, you know, drinking Jaeger bombs. I mean, we're both hammered and there's just one single dark road leading, you know, to could have been leading to fucking Narnia for all we knew. And all I did for that two weeks was sit around and play Halo with my buddies and take bong rips. I smoked crack for the first and only time that I've ever done it. Let me tell you about the time I was on Quaaludes. Or and she's like, what? She's like, I'll fuck you if you give me your bean. <laughs> and I was like, nah, all right. And all of a sudden, when I look down, I've peed all the way down <laughs> my, this side of my leg. I get on the phone with the dealer. I'm flipping out on this guy. I'm giving him the whole Hollywood story. Listen, motherfucker, you don't know who I am. I'm in a Disney show. It, it, it can be normal stuff, like a couple nights ago I dreamt I was hunting dinosaurs, you know? Like, I was a dinosaur hunter. I had one dream where I was riding a lion, and that was pretty great. That's, that was great. If you guys could tr just try to, I don't know. My mom, my mom found me and brought me back, and she puts a lot of pressure on me right now. She want, you know, she's made me start seeking out groups and things like that. It's a little too much for me to handle right now, you know? I really don't have an outlet, you know? But sometimes I think, well, like, which dream is the right dream? Which one, which one's the one that I really want? One of the things I'm looking for is can I be my own person and my own man and deal with these issues and still allow everyone else to be their own individual? I called my mom and you know, we had talked about if I maybe maybe doing like group therapy or something like that would be a better uh, kind of way for me to do it. So I'm just around a whole bunch of people, I guess, for the support. Trying to what I'm trying to say is that I don't. I'm not here because um, I'm not here to fix myself. I'm just here so I can talk with somebody about my problems and that I can get a response about my problems and that and that you know what and that you guys will say it's okay. And, and, and I don't have that in my life right now. I don't have a group of guys. And it, I don't know why it means something to me that you guys are guys. I think the act of venting, just because you mentioned that, is really, uh, you know, it's like cathartic. Uh, and, and I mean that in like a truly healing sense. You know what I mean? I don't know how I'm going to explain 
50 corn dildos to her. I think I bought, like, it wasn't even crazy. Like, I bought, like, 2,500 copies of the newspaper. And I stacked them around, I stacked them around my apartment. If you haven't noticed, I buy big shoes. You know, I feel like that's a big turn on for women. You know, they see the big feet and they're like, oh, he's got a big fucking cock. <laughs> but I mean, it's true anyway, but you have to advertise them somehow, right? It's like the Italian style, right? With the... yeah. yeah, yeah, Italians do it. Yeah. I love women. I wish that women were a little bit hairier and, uh, and had uh, bigger, more muscular legs. I... Every time she would like, like kind of walk by, I kind of do one of these. <laughs> And like smack down on her butt just because, you know, just she had a massive, it was massive. I think it'd be really cool, you know, if my dad, I think he'd be, be proud if he saw how I was plowing this girl. <laughs>